So Josie has picked mercury, a metal that is liquid at room temperature. It is also easily combustible and in some circumstances highly volatile. Excellent choice, Josie. What element did you choose, Corinne? Carbon. Nature's drill bit. You know, diamonds are pure carbon. Marshall? Huh? When the stars exploded and formed all the elements on this periodic table, I don't think there was one called... Huh? <laughs> Try again, Marshall. Okay, I chose... Helium. Yeah. It's fun to have at parties. Always a gas. <laughs> Marshall, um, can I speak to you a moment? Yeah, sure. What's up, Professor Z? Well, I was about to ask you the same thing, Marshall. It seems like you're on another planet. Oh, um, I've got a big audition for Magnet 360 today. And Magnet 360 is? Only like the best band at our school. And do they actually work with magnets? What are you doing out here, Marshall? Your audition is like now. Uh, my brother Grant is coming for a visit. He's late. You never told me he was coming to visit. Come to think of it, you never told me you had a brother. We share some genetic code. It's not like either of us had a choice in the matter. Well, if you still want help getting ready for the audition, we better hurry. Is this the face of the next lead singer for Magnet 360? Nobody just wears a t-shirt anymore, Marshall. They don't? No, you have to layer. Do you have long sleeves? Yeah, somewhere. Do you want me to go? Hold on a second. I'm sure I have the right shirt in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Hmm. Almost done. As the French say, voila! Almost done is right. Hey! We gotta do something about the dew. Check it out. Try to remember us little people when you're fighting back the ladies. Hey, I'm not making any promises. Hey, what if your brother comes while you're in the audition? Do you want me to go out and wait for him? Grant hasn't been gone so long, he can't find his own way around. He went to school here? Can we not talk about him? <laughs> Gotta get going. It's gonna be late. Well, guess, but I think I'm floating. My voice! How am I gonna be able to audition like this? 
Hey, Marshall. Oh, up, up. Go away! We're busy! We're busy! Too busy to let me into my own room? Ugh. Okay, what is up with Marshall? Could it have to do with the fact that we attend the only school with a multi-dimensional vortex? Down! Get me down! Nice voice, Marshall. What did you do to yourself? I don't know. I, I don't know either. Just happened out of nowhere. You guys gotta help me out. I have to get to my audition. Showing up for auditions with your own posse. Let's get started. We have a lot of people to see. Um, we'll just be one second, guys. So, you guys are Magnet 360. What an attractive name. Attractive Magnet. Get it? Hey, Wheeler. Ready or what? Hold on, hold on. Wheeler? As a Grand Wheeler? As in Grant Wheeler, yes or no? Yes, um, Marshall and Grant are brothers. Why didn't you tell us? Grant Wheeler's a legend around this place. My older brother played with him. Keyboards and lead vocals for the one and only Pulverize. Hottest band this school ever saw. If he's one-tenth as good as Grant, little brother's a lock. <laughs> Guys, I'm not my brother, all right? I'm Marshall. <coughs> Dude's having an off day. You want to reschedule? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Maybe talent doesn't run in the family. Professor Z, you're not going to believe it. Something's happened to me. Marshall? How did you know? Well, let's just say that discovering his atomic model hovering above his desk was my first clue. Huh. Wait, didn't that used to be helium? That would explain the floating and the squeaky voice. I can't believe I just demoed Will and Jared's mic stand. The only reason they're even giving me another chance to audition is because I'm Grant Wheeler's brother. I'm almost afraid to ask how you just did that, Marshall. Oh, great. This is a disaster. I, I rust out everything I touch. Oxygen combines with iron over time to make... Ferrous oxide. Rust. I don't want to alarm anyone unduly, but first the model was helium and Marshall was floating, correct? Now the model has become oxygen, and so is Marshall. And if Marshall's moving from helium to oxygen, he's moving up the periodic table. Hey, maybe somewhere along the way he'll turn into platinum. They've definitely got to let you into the band if you go platinum. Lucas, at the rate Marshall's going, he could end up here. Uranium. You're right, Josie. And a Marshall Wheeler's weight of uranium? Would give off enough radiation to kill everyone in the entire school. we're looking for is a pattern in all this. Something that might have caused Marshall's progression up the periodic table. Well, it started happening after science class. You turn to helium while you're getting ready for your audition. And understandably feeling quite nervous. And then you switch from helium to oxygen after you ruined your audition. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. So? So what I think Professor Z is trying to tell you, Marshall, is that music means a lot to you. Maybe all you're stressing over Magnet 360 is what's This isn't about the band, all right? 
Well, maybe if you tell us what is going on, Marshall, we could help. Oh, great. The late, great Grant Wheeler has finally arrived. That's your brother? Marsha, how come you never told us your brother was so hot? So... Uh-oh. That's not it. No, I mean, uh oh, as in look at Marshall. You look like a neon sign, Marshall. Models change again, too. Judging by its structure, not to mention Marshall's glow, he's become neon. Two steps closer to uranium. What am I gonna do? Well, I don't think it's wise for you to see your brother like this. Can someone go outside and keep Grant busy until we figure out how to reverse Marshall's condition? I, I, I don't know, yeah. I wouldn't want you to go alone, so I'll come with you. Okay. A tad bit eager, or is it just me? I'm better go with them in case one of them hyperventilates and passes out. Seems your brother's having an effect on the chemistry here at Blake Holsey Marshall. Quite an effect, wouldn't you say?